Never you collect or take these three things from anyone's hand. At all cost, never try it. Do you understand me? I have a reason. And I am telling you that you should not collect these three things for your own good. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Henrietta. And on this channel, we pray. We seek solution. I share with you powerful spiritual tips that would help you greatly. So all you need to do is to join us. Subscribe if you have not. And make sure you turn on the bell notification to always get updates. There is a small bell beside the subscribe button. Tap it to always get updates. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And to my returning subscribers, you know I love you. I always pray for you. May God bless you. So these are the three things you should never share, take or give, except with caution. Number one, mirror. Mirror is a reflection. Anything that is a reflection is dangerous. The agents of darkness, evil power, they use mirror to monitor your progress. So when you are borrowing anything, make sure it is not mirror. Don't just say, hey neighbor, give me your mirror. No, you don't know what they use that mirror for. The heart of men is wicked. If you are with that person and you see that person using that mirror, you can just borrow it instantly and use it because you saw them using it. But not that they are inside. You tell them, neighbor, brother, sister, give me your mirror and you are outside. They go inside. Never. Because you don't know the kind of mirror they are bringing to you. Even if you are there with them, it is still not advisable. It is still not advisable. There was a confession recently by an hairstylist, a woman that makes hair like this. You know, when you get to a salon, there is always a big mirror. Of course, I also use that. After making my hair, I check myself. That is normal. But that woman was evil. That mirror was like a ritual. She used that a mirror there as a ritual to monitor anybody that comes there. Immediately you look into that mirror. Automatically you have registered your image in their kingdom. They use this to monitor your sources, monitor your growth, monitor everything and steal your blessing. So from time to time, all the people that goes there, after making their hair, coming back, just a week, you see them poor and wretched. This is true life story. There was a day I wanted to make my head there. When I was about to step in there, there was a revelation. When you are strong, you will not fall that victim. Immediately, I turned back. She was looking at me fiercely. She knew that I have seen who she is. But many people, they don't have their eyes. That same day, a woman went in there and made a casual hair. And she told this woman that she wanted to do this hair outside, not inside the salon. Because of heat. So that was the God that saved her. So when she was done with her hair outside, she ran home. She was in haste because it was about to rain. And because of that, she could not check whether the hair was fine or not. I'm not saying you should not be checking your hairstyle, your look, but always be prayerful. When you are prayerful, God will always give you a signal when people are evil or when you enter a place that is evil. So be careful of mirror. Mirror can be used to monitor your progress. Don't just tell people, borrow me your mirror because they can use that as a weapon to attack you spiritually. Secondly, salt. See, let me tell you, salt is used for different spiritual purposes. And there are many evil people. They take advantage of this. Salt. 
salt is popular and that is why on youtube here yeah, salt is popular when you talk about salt you see many response many interest so many people use salt for different spiritual purposes some evil people use salt as a charm to scatter people's progress and all of that salt can be used positively and negatively just like you hold salt you pray to god to heal you heal your finances heal your life you add to your water and bath which is not bad but there are people they use this salt for evil because of the power salt has as a natural product from god so do not just take salt from people because when you say give me your salt if that salt was used for evil giving to you it is a problem i know that the enemies can use any other thing but there are some things that are spiritual salt is very spiritual salt is used for spiritual purposes salt is known for cleansing for prayers and for other spiritual uses so you taking salt from that person you don't know anything they have done with that salt spiritually they use salt to attack people's heads which is a wizard they use salt to scatter people's progress when they give you salt your hand touches that salt that hand will not make money that hand will not succeed so please even if you want to borrow salt you can go to their kitchen yourself and take it but don't just stand aside please neighbor give me your salt they go inside no it is wrong finally this is not for spiritual purposes for health purposes do not place your mouth in a bottle of water when you know you are going to take it twice every human mouth has some bacteria we have normal ones and we have the bad ones you drink it put your mouth here and you leave some after this has washed it has washed from your mouth or your spittle everything do you know what is in your mouth in your tongue you wash it inside you cover it and go back again and drink it it is wrong if you are a child it is different because the bacteria and enzyme in the mouth of children they are still very mild if you're going to put your mouth finish it but don't put your mouth and wash everything inside and leave it for some hours and go back because that bacteria is developing every minute is developing and it is even worse if another person come again and take that thing even if you are the one that goes back to drink what you left as far as you have washed your mouth inside it is wrong then if another person comes and do the same thing because i know of some people family members friends they put their mouth in water this one will drink or drink drink pack everything inside and give to another person it is wrong you don't share such things no matter how much you love yourself that is why you see sickness infection everywhere because this kind of bacteria can be a major cause of disease you might tell me you have been doing it nothing has happened there are some things that takes time they are building up in your body when you see people at their old age they are sick it is not just what happened at that age this is something that has been growing in you so stop it if you have to take water use a glass don't put your mouth and wash everything inside after one hour you come back again after all of those bacteria those enzymes they must have grown and multiplied you take it back again you are taking sickness whether water or drink and if another person now comes to take it it is even worse so these are the common practices that we think does not matter health wise it matters thank you for watching please subscribe if you have not give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends